do we have Pat Healy with the Laker News here? Yes, I'm here. Okay, go ahead, Pat. Um, this question is for Mr. Mew. We have several uh, warming centers like the Wellington Station House that are warming centers. Can they be uh, activated as shelters when the time comes if they're needed for the community residents? So that would be a decision for the municipality and the Canadian Red Cross to discuss. Uh, not all facilities uh, are adequate for a shelter, uh, but that's part of a, the Canadian Red Cross standard. So municipalities uh, would, would obviously reach out to us uh, and then we would bring in the Canadian Red Cross and, and look at the facility. And if that facility didn't meet the needs, then we'd be looking at other facilities. Pat, do you have a follow-up question? Yes, I do. Also for Mr. Mew, I think. There's off, for many of these past storms, there's people saying they're overhyped. What's your message to those people that think there's too much hype for storms, such as the one that is coming up for us, that's forecasted to his, hit us? Well, I mean, it's, uh, I think it's all about, uh, you know, uh, monitoring a lot of the different, uh, you know, your municipal websites, uh, environment, climate change websites, and looking at what these, I guess these subject matter experts uh, that, that actually do track storms and, and respond to these and what they're saying. So, you know, we're all saying that this is gonna be a significant storm. Uh, people should make the preparations uh, that are required uh, just to make sure that they can be safe and their families can be safe. Uh, the storm's gonna start impacting Nova Scotia, uh, you know, Friday evening and, and over Friday night into Saturday, Saturday night. So, you know, we're just asking everybody to be prepared and, um, it, it doesn't hurt to take those extra precautions just to be on the safe side. Thank you very much. Um, just before we move on to the next question, um, Bob Robichaud, do you have anything to add to uh, Pat's last question there? Uh, <clears throat> well, essentially, the, I mean, what we have is the, the, the latest science in, in tracking these particular storm systems. Uh, the satellites that we have, the computer models that we have, have come such a long way in the last few years. Um, just in terms of satellite imagery alone, we're so much better at being able to track these things than we were just only five years ago. So uh, the science is at a point now where we, we get a pretty good idea of where these storms are going to go, uh, how intense they're going to be. Uh, but always when we start to drill down to the local level, that's where things can change a little bit. Uh, and the important thing right now, as Jason men mentioned earlier, is to just keep an eye on, this, on the forecast here over the next few days as we start to firm up the scenario for uh, Friday into Saturday. Thank you very much.